Welcome to Morningside Uniting Church third Advent Sunday online service. Every time we worship and praise the name of the Lord, we light these Advent candles, joy, hope, love, and Christ the King candles to acknowledge Jesus Christ, the eternal King of the world, is always with us. Have a few announcements. Next Sunday, 19th of December, we are going to have a combined service with Wide Open Korean Church at 10 o'clock in the morning. And then we have a Christmas Eve and carol service on the 24th of December, Friday night, 7 o'clock. And Christmas Day service is happening at 7 in the morning. And also on 26th of December, is the end of year service and also Blue Sunday service. Now let us worship God. Salvation is nearer to us now than when we first believed. The night is far gone, the day is near. The wilderness and the dry land shall be glad. The desert shall rejoice and blossom. Like the crocus, it shall blossom abundantly and rejoice with joy and singing. Now let us pray. Eternal God, you sent John the Baptist to prepare the way for the coming of your Son. Grant us the wisdom to see your purpose and openness to hear your will, that we too may prepare the way for Christ, who is coming in power and glory, to establish his kingdom of peace and justice. Through Jesus Christ, our judge and our redeemer, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever. Amen. Now let us sing our opening hymn, Now Thank We All Our God. Now let us sing together.
remember that our Lord Jesus can sympathize with us in our own weaknesses. Since in every respect he was tempted as we are, yet without sin. Let us then with boldness approach the throne of grace that we may receive a mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Now let us confess our sins against God and our neighbors. Let us confess together. Holy and merciful God, in your presence we confess our sinfulness, our shortcomings, and our offenses against you. You alone know how often we have sinned in wandering from your ways, in wasting your gifts, and in forgetting your love. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we are ashamed and sorry for all we have done to displease you. Forgive our sins and help us to live in your light that walk in your ways. For the sake of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Hear the good news. The saying is sure and worthy of full acceptance that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross that we might be dead to sin and alive to all that is good. Therefore, I declare to you in the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. Thanks be to God. Today's Bible reading is from one of Apostle Paul's letters, uh, Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 through 7. Now let us hear the word of the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your heart and your minds in Christ Jesus. And this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now let us pray as we prepare our hearts and minds. O God, open our hearts and minds by the power of your Holy Spirit, that as the scriptures are read and your word is proclaimed, we may hear what you are saying to us today. In Christ, Amen. The word rejoice means be joyful and be happy. So when you hear this word, you need to make yourself joyful and happy. When are the moments and what are the moments and what are the experiences that make you rejoice and make you joyful and happy? For me, it's every Sunday morning 9.30 because of you. I'm telling you the truth. The other day, I went to a nearby small shopping center to have lunch with my friend. After returning to my guard, I mean, it's after lunch and returning to my car, I found an overparked penalty ticket, $77. I paid $9 for lunch, but $77 for car park. Even though I knew I violated the car park condition, but anyway, I emailed the office to give me a second chance. Two days later, they replied my request with the W word. We are going to waive the penalty. I rejoiced all day long. By the way, when you go to shopping center, please do read their corporate condition. Otherwise, you mention my case to them to waive the penalty, then you would know how much I rejoiced on the day and I'm still rejoicing. That's the power of $77 being waived. We rejoice more when hopeless, impossible and unexpected things happen to us. Have you experienced your seat just got upgraded because of someone's mistake? I traveled to Sydney in business classes and several times because they made a booking mistakes and I rejoiced. Long time ago, I was at Chicago O'Hare Airport checking myself in, but the air crew said, Sir, 
there was no seat in economy class and you can't fly today, maybe tomorrow. And I said, I know I can't fly. So I'll be here waiting you until you have a seat for me. I was a poor student, so decided to stay overnight in the airport. But about an hour later, I heard my name being called Mr. Kim, Mr. Dong Kim over the PA system. So I went to the ticketing desk again and heard the staff offering, Sir, someone just canceled his ticket, so may I put you in business class without any charge? Just three simple words came out of my mouth immediately. Yes, you may. By the way, I can upgrade your seat in the church. You, we have a few first class to sit at front, and so if you like to uh, enjoy the first class service, please let me know. And if you watch online service, and any time you come to church, and your first class the seats are reserved for you. Anyway, when these kinds of things happen to us, we rejoice with inundating joy, happiness, and thanksgiving because we receive more and bigger than to what we are entitled and eligible for. And even beyond what we receive psychologically and emotionally, we need to rejoice all the time because it makes us forget what happened before. While I was waiting in the airport, so it could be tomorrow or could be two more days. But when I heard my name being called Dong Kim and I have a seat for you, I forgot everything what happened before. So this is the power of rejoicing. Just like a success which leaves all failures behind and makes people move on. Rejoice removes our tears and gives us a smile. When Christians rejoice in Jesus Christ, it replaces fear and death for promise and future in Jesus. So when Apostle Paul wrote a letter to the church in Philippi, he knew exactly what rejoice would do to those who lived under persecution and threat. So he was emphasizing rejoice over and over again. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Once you rejoice in the Lord Jesus, you can leave despairs, disappointments, and hopelessness behind. That you may move on to join the journey with Jesus Christ. So in this Advent season, that's why Jesus is coming to us to hold our hands as he walks together with us. When I read today's reading first, I thought the word rejoice was an English word for the repetition of joy in our life. But did you know that the word rejoice is not an English word, but French, which is from all the French, let me try the prefix ri is expressing the tone of the word with an extensive force. And the main meaning word, zua, means to experience joy. So based on my one semester French study, the word ri says to me, David, you need to intentionally and fully express your joy until you experience real joy in your life now. In other words, we need to recall our joyful experiences from the past and bring the joyful memories alive right now so that we may overcome the ongoing despair, disappointment, and failure. If you 
are going through tough seasons, unforgettable memories that damages your relationship with others, and failures that take away your motivation, dream, and hope for the future, then you must say this word over and over again every day. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. And you will find joy, hope, love, and peace of Jesus Christ in your life. As long as you say the word, rejoice in Jesus, you will leave everything behind and move on. In the Greek Bible, kairete is used here for rejoice. But I think the better translation for this Greek word kairete is to celebrate. We Christians celebrate with Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior, for who he was, is, and is to be, and for what he has done for us, and what he has promised to us. So as long as we celebrate in Jesus and with Jesus, we will see the promise that is about to be fulfilled and completed by the coming Lord, Jesus Christ. So in this Advent season, we rejoice in Jesus always as we also celebrate with Jesus forever. So let me say this one again. Rejoice in the Lord Jesus always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Amen. Now let us sing our closing hymn. As a people of God, as a friends of Jesus Christ, as we continue to rejoice in the Lord Jesus Christ, 
May the grace of the Lord Jesus and the love of God and the sweet communion with the Holy Spirit be with you all now and forevermore. Amen. Now let us bless each other. God bless you. Thank you.